I want to see signs of life because Rebellion Esports actually did quite well in another series as well, uh, taking one game of one of the top teams. I mean, they took one game off FCAP for sure, but it's about closing things out. Yeah. Right? Correct. Look at that. Faramis, Edith, Angela, banned by Yudu, Red Giants Bobby for Rebellion. People. They're going to take out the uh, the chip, the fanny, and could be a Ling ban coming up as well, Gani. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And let's see here. Yudu, Red Giants, they're really eyeing for that Ling, right? Giving it to Sakai's should be uh, almost a guaranteed win. So Rebellion Esports here kind of forced to use ban that Ling, but no. Oh. Instead, they banned the Jushin out. Yeah, what's hoping right here, the Raja, the, 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 the Ling, and you also got the Harif that's also wide open. So many options for the side of Yudu, Red Giants. Don't forget the Zask as well to throw that into the pool. So many choices, but so limited picks. Man, I, I, I can't, I can't see, I can't see, but no, they're not <laughs> going for the Ling, it seems like. They're mm -hmm. going for the Zask. Yeah, prioritize that Zask. Zask has been a big problem. A consistent theme, a very strong and solid pick as long as you can anchor him down. Let's see the Bending Esports with the response. Ling Raja, wow. kind of a no-brainer, right? Moskov now left open for Innocent if he sh uh, wishes to go for it. Uh, I mean, the Harif could be an option, but Moskov feels like a more direct approach. And you've been playing a lot of Kufra this um, tournament, so mm -hmm. maybe going up against uh, Ling, going up against uh, Raja Rosel. Kufra and as well as Moskov might come up here in the first phase. I like the Moskov idea, guys. Uh, Moskov is really good, can peel for himself, uh, can, can split push to match the temple of that Ling, and can after that takes the Spear of Destruction, join the team fight anywhere else. Liking that idea, but I'm looking also at the potential assassin picks coming out from you, the Red Giants. A kiss right here. How is he going to fare up against this Ling? I mean, there's still the Hayabusa left in the pool. Hayabusa, Julian, you know, if we really want to mm -hmm. go, go down his, his route back to go down his roots, there's the Nolan as a choice. Oh, yes. But also, we got the Krem, Krem Rizzler and Ooh. the Moskov for Innocent. Yep, showing so much aura as well. This Rizzler, oh, sorry, Terizzler. I think that penalty zone is going to be very vital in, in order to lock down that Link. You can lock down that Roger as well. He's tanky and it's so obnoxious to try to kill him. It's going to be very important to fight the earlier turtles as well with the Terrazla after that penalty zone. So let's see here. Rebellion Esports to complete the first phase. What approach should they go for here? The mid for Sway Low because he popped off as well mm -hmm. with the Valentina. Here, here's a go. Right with the Terrazla on the board, you can use the IMU to take the penalty zone away as well. Even the, uh, the demonic descent from the Zaz, right? Yeah. We've seen great examples of that. I mean, Rebellion, if they want to go for a Roman, this could be yep, Ruby, you throw it up in the air. There is a flex pick right there for them. Massive though. Um, there's so many things out in the air. You can bring this Ruby into the EXP, you can bring it to the Rome. And, and, and it gives a lot of question marks over to the side of you, the Red Giants, right? Now, how do you play? Do you expect to play against this Rome or do you do something on your own? Ignore whatever Rebellion Esports wants to go for. Just pick something that you're very comfortable. Now the Kufra looks really juicy for the side of you, the Red Giants. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see the Rebellion Esports. They might actually commit to a, another ban towards the guys, right? They might ban the Julian out, considering that they have banned the Hayabusa, really limiting, restricting the options for Sakai's. We've seen certain examples of this. Um, I think the same can be said when Geek Fam tried mm -hmm. to go for a full-on Hades targeted ban, oh. but you are open up other, opening up other options for YRG. So again, like I said, like you said, Gani, could be a Julian, but that leaves Nolan on the table. I like the potential Fovius pick for you, the Red Giants as well. Fovius, Kufra, they're both great choices, but YRG will start off by taking out the Arlet to eliminate the Arlet-Ruby combination. Yeah, and really, like right now, Rebellion Esports, if you're going to go down that dark road or try to limit Sikis, you're going to enable the other players because don't forget, Yudu Red Giants, the main character isn't Sikis. The main characters are Yudu Red Giants themselves, the strong side lanes and a strong trio mid. Just in case if Sikis takes the fall, I'm rest assured, Innocent or even Cram can actually just rise up to the occasion. Let's see here, what will be the approach for the side of Rebellion Esports? Yeah, I think it might vary, right? It doesn't necessarily mean you can have to commit on towards the guys, but let's see, Rebellion Esports, will they go for it or not? Considering that they have mm. okay crowd control of the Ruby, but oh, yeah, wow. they're going for a Sakai's hero, but it's going to be the Null instead, not the Julian. So they're willing to let the Julian through. Is it a Swelo thing to go for Julian mid? I'm not even. I'm not sure if it's a, there's a possibility for RBL, but it is left wide open, right? It's possible. I want to say it's possible, but I think he would be better off 
on the conventional quote yeah. unquote mages. That sounds too greedy. It does yeah. sound way too yeah, greedy. Link, it is. Link, Zorali, Julian, all right. Like, yeah, oh, that, too um, ambitious. That's right. It's too ambitious. I like ambitious. I like people who are ambitious. Uh, that's kind of my type. Uh, Rebellion Esports, however, like I think really they need to go start going for more um, solid tanks. I'm looking at maybe a Minotaur from their side to kind of counteract against what you, the Red Giants, are going for. Knock everybody sky high. Then you go in with the, sky, the, the Temples of Blades as well. You, the Red Giants, opted to ban away that Vexana, a nod over to Suelo. Okay, so no, uh, no Vexana. Rebellion. They ha they have an option to keep that mid lane pick for last, yeah, and kind of leave Ruby up in the uh, yeah. well, not leave, leave Ruby up in the air, but reveal where the Ruby is going to go. I mean, the Edith is oh, Edith was banned out. No Edith, no Arlet. Want to go up into XP lane? There is a Barats, I suppose. There's also the potential Lapu Lapu as well if you want to take it down that road. I love the Barat's idea, but uh, you're going to get just shredded by the Moscow if you don't play him right. I mean, there's uh, the Onik way. CC is still an option as True. well if they really want to copy Onik, but now it's not going to be the CC. They're going for the conventional roamer, Ruby okay. EXP, Minotaur, Rome. Yeah, you... they're going to literally forego um, what I said about, you know, keeping that Ruby, what we we're talking about, keeping that Ruby open, flexible. They're just going to review that, yep, that Ruby is going to go to the XP lane. Yeah, and I think this is kind of like a, a expected uh, expected path that RBL is going to take, right? We give mm -hmm. Suelo the benefit of looking at YRG's entire draft. Yeah. But you call the Minotaur as well, Jace. You want a more conventional team fighting comp That's that right. can deal with YRG if they decide to kind of full on blast at RBL. Minotaur is your man. I think Warriors this time, we still are looking for Sakai's hero. The Julian looks like a juicy option. I mean, we've seen Lancelot from Erat as well. The Joy was picked up by Vincent. So there are a couple of alternatives. YRG will go for the Yum's Cool Fry, you caught it, Gani. And of course, the Julian for Sakai's. That's very scary, right? From day two, we saw Yum's just popping off the Kufra. Providing cover, provide initiation as well. So expect that sort of play style in this game. And Rebellion Esports, sway low, seeing this composition, you want a mid laner that is independent. Yeah, Aurora? So, something like a Valentina or even Aurora also makes sense. You know, there's so it's an anti dive or even a Lilia, Lilia. right? Because right now you you may face a lot of potential problems. You can get jump upon by the Moscow, you can get jump upon by the Therisla and the Julian. Maybe a little, you need is that secondary life, and don't forget, you can land all those bombs so easily, those orbs, and it kind of combos really well with the Ruby and the Minotaur. I suppose that is definitely an option that they could hit towards. See, RBL, you want someone that's able to move out of the lane fast, right? Kind of counteract the Zaz. So yeah. Lilia, y'all call it Lilia, mm -hmm. is the response for RBL. Good against the Terrace Law and the Kufra as well. You have a get out of Joe Fee card with the black shoes. I want to hear your final thoughts before the game, starting with you, Gani. I think it's going to be an all action game here in the for the first game. Very aggressive line, especially after hitting that level four. A lot of big alts coming in. So, yep. yeah, expect an aggressive early game. Feel like a very high octane uh, game. Uh, Husky, because so many things have to go right. They're both these two teams are seeking to snowball, especially during the early game. Yeah, RBL have nothing to lose, and YRG have the streak to maintain. We're gonna head into the lineup, Don, in just a little bit. Thank you very much, gentlemen. I'm gonna hand the stage to you guys, Gani and Jace. Take it away. Well, thank you so much, Husky. And let's see here for our opening game of the series. Will it be you do Red Giants taking the game? Or will it be Rebellion Esports? Again, a classic David versus Goliath situation-wise. But let's see here. Rebellion Esports, they're fighting for, you know what, just to wreak, just to cause damage <laughs> into you do's uh, reputations. Yeah, definitely. Rebellion Esports, nothing left to lose. A lot of things to lose if you are you the Red Giants. You don't, you definitely want to keep that streak going and imagine it is the day it, it, it's a david victory i think it's gonna hurt a little bit if you uh if you're you the red giants mm, definitely and well let's see here we he will hear the early tech pause here while we can mm -hmm. talk about the compositions what, i mean let's see here right aether on that link uh, Mm -hmm. I really like Rio though, so let's see here. Aether, please prove me wrong on the link. But yeah, he his story has been 
quite a story because he was a part of RRQ Ooh. in the previous seasons. Mm. Definitely, right? Like, uh, there's a lot of pressure on top of Aether. Don't forget, he wasn't fielded yesterday as well. Right. Rebellion Esports, like, right now, they're just doing EXP share, right? Making sure that everybody gained... <laughs> yeah, I know it's a Pokemon reference. Um, Rebellion Esports is looking to, to basically get all these people the chance to basically play on a world stage like this um, so that when they go back to their respective regions you know th they're going to be a little bit more prepared a little bit more comfortable mm, definitely and i really like the development coming from matt as well i Loki doubted him in the gold lane Press uh, stepping into the um, international competition mm -hmm. as well but I really like his development in a sense where he's more confident he's showing that he has deep hero pulls and that is what you need building a solid um, lineup in your org yep. or competition Welcome back to the land of dawn ladies and gents this is going to be SRG sorry uh, Udo Red Giants spawning in the blue it's going to be red it's rebellion and a bit of a mid lane kerfuffle already happening Swaylo outputting the damage abusing but Stormy is only level 1 now Swaylo's down a little bit low and Stormy doesn't really have the damage to seal the deal as of yet. Rebellion Esports gets to walk away for now. I mean, mind you, here Swaylo has rocked the Purify. So, yeah, yep. escaping-wise, he needs level 4 and very good pressure applied by Yudu Red Giants. They're already forcing Swaylo for an early recall. Yeah, he has to sway away, right? <laughs> like, luckily, he has a Purify in hand instead of a Flicker, so that's really wise positioning right there. But Aether taking a little bit of a damage already from that, uh, securing with Litho Wanderer, if I presume. Because don't forget, Yums on the Concussive Blast does a lot of damage in the early game. Mm -hmm. And you can see here already, somehow, um, they're looking for an angle to invade the mm -hmm. uh, the Ling. Aether mm -hmm. here is a limit of a pickle, but surely here, Rebellion Esports is taking it very, very cautiously, very, very slowly. They want, they do not want to make a mistake before the first roll. It's kind of opposite of what I'm expecting, right? I'm expecting early game. <laughs> Just gonna uh, lock horns together in the early game. But Rebellion Esports is really taking a very slow step. Uh, I'm not too sure whether this is actually the play right here because Rebellion Esports do rely on that snowball, but then they realize, oh, I'm going up against Goliath. Yeah, I think they need to really play it cautiously after, after the first hurdle, then maybe they can make be more proactive and what that one. Let's see here. Both gold laners comfortably sharing gold in the bottom side of the map. Perhaps after that first roll, then both teams will look to clump up on towards the bottom side of the map. Good wave clear up top. Stormy doesn't hit level 4 as of yet. That could be a slight little issue. Swaylo, on the other hand, does have level 4. That Dominator's uh, descent is definitely going to be very important going into this fight. Okay, finally, at least he has it. But Yumes, on the other hand, doesn't hit level 4. Or the easy solidly at level 4, hitting power spike. Yeah, has a minion fury, has the black shoes as well, surely mm -hmm. from side of Sway Low, so they are up here. But Stormy now has the double Ds, right? The Dominus Descent is already in play, and Aether will prioritize his oh, orange first. There you go. Yums. And then the turtle. Bouncing just a bit. Opening up the map, cars will find Cram. They're gonna scuff off just a little bit. Nice nightmare spawn just to try to zone it. Domain it to descent, land as well. Cram away in the back line at the same time. Swaylo, the members of Rebellion Esports, don't dare to pull the trigger. They give the turtle over to you, the Red Giants. Very disciplined, right? SRG, they're playing it very carefully. Oh, nice Black damage. Shoes. Black shoes get some model over there. Yeah, very good, very good pressure they're applied by SRG. Nothing too crazy. They know they just want the turtle. If push comes to stuff, then we fight. You talk about a push coming to shove, and here we go. Aether go, knocks Sky, Sekai Sky high, Matt, trying to join the fight at the same time. Sekai's trying to slow it down, but Aether will be able to secure that kill as well. Yooms bouncing away. The Rebellion Esports got what they wanted. Rebellion Esports, I'll take it, right? We'll take it. You got Audi. We'll take your jungler. And yeah, Rebellion Esports, fine, fine compensation. After losing that turtle, it's a yoke. Okay, now they're going for the bottom side pressure here mm -hmm. with the Innocent and as well as Matt in the vicinity. You yeah. though, very cheeky, right? He's waiting for that all, and he has a flicker, mm. so Matt needs to be aware of this. Innocent doesn't really have boots. He's handing, oh, making sure that he uses his steel leg plates to its full advantage, but Yums bouncing around. Matt down a little bit low, using the Lycan Pounds to dodge that Concussive Blast uh, damage. Matt gets on the way for now. All right, four minutes in, it's just a very low kill count here. It's one for one, but not... It doesn't mean that the action mm -hmm. isn't there. You can see a Rebellion Esports here is just trying to stabilize. They know they have the Minotaur, so they are Man. more reacting instead of commanding, right? Yeah. On, the, on the other side, Yudora Giants, they have that Kufra who can dictate more fights hello. and apply pressure. Well, hello there. Um, 
Yeah, Cram just tries to poke a little bit onto Aether for now. But Gunny, where is that high octane that I told the audience is? This is very slow. This is too slow. Hey, let's see, let's see, right? I mean, we have we have to sell the second turtle here, but take on the top side. Oh. Action here. A bit of action, not only just that Aether would lose his orange buff at the same time. Penalty zone will be committed. Oh. Sekai goes down by Suelo's bombs. Cram, the only one left, and Yooms has to charge it up, try to bounce, will be able to land the ultimate onto cars for now. But the damage, the I'm offended, try to slow it down. Yooms picking up that kill. Not exactly where you want to go, but you do red giants right now. Pure damage control. Man, Sky's punished twice. Man, it's not looking good for the side of red giants, but technically they have a mask off. Innocent's fine. Mm. So yeah, mm -hmm. late game. They have insurance. Mm, innocent, that's exactly not where you want to be. Nine seconds kill right there to try to push Matt away, but one more shot should do the trick. Oh, the TZ picks up that kill. Ooh, we rebelling esports. They just know how to do problems out. They have secured it, Sakai twice, and they know who's on their list, right? It's going to be innocent, and they've done it. They've done it. Matt is slightly ahead, and let's see. This mm. last turtle is going to be crucial, not for rebellion. It's more towards red. You do red giant. So let's see here. They definitely want to contest rebellion esports. How how will do they approach this one? Both these two teams does have a balanced storyline in terms of this particular game, right, Ghani? Both these two teams does have uh, heroes that could scale mid, the, the heroes that could scale late as well. So uh, both these two teams definitely vying for that turtle pit. But look at Rebellion Esports. There's a little bit of fear in how they're moving. They're not really contesting the Lord at all. You the Red Giants have been getting away with one uh, turtle. So I I'm looking forward to this particular fight. Maybe Rebellion Esports could put up a fight. Well, as expected, Yudu Red Giants, they want this role more because they're in a deficit, right? They want, oh, no. Rebellion Esports. They're not standing idly by Aether, man. Okay. This assassin is just playing cross map. Okay, that's a trade for the turtle for a top side turret. But if you're looking to go late, Rebellion Esports is the only main damage dealer around the late part of the game. I'm looking at Sui Lo on this Lilia. But apart from that, uh, Ling probably also could do quite a decent amount of damage in towards the late. But you do Red Giants, though. Innocent can scale. Mm-hmm. Definitely. And I think for that, they need to protect Innocent more. They just need to have yeah. the Corrosion at DHS and Golden Staff and Rebellion Esports. They need to take care of that. They know that's going to be a future issue, but they need to do it for now. They need to invest on pressuring um, Innocent here because, yeah, Moscow late game is definitely a problem. <laughs> it's a scary problem, not something yet you want to face head on. But don't forget, the Lilia can also wave clear very quickly. So Rebellion Esports, if they really want to make it hard for you, the Red Giants, they have the tools for it. Cram right now, spreading damage all across the board. Matt goes into wolf form, looking for an entry point right there. The purple buff is getting contested as if it's a turtle as well. And also, Sakis has to get out of there. Cars pulling back in, penalty oh. zone, catches two. Re massive ultimate from the side of Rebellion Esports. And not only just that, oh, Dominus Descent pressing forward just a little bit, trying to push as much juice out of the ultimate. Great play coming out from Yudu, Red Giants. This team yet again just knows how and when to pull the trigger. Take a look at oh. that. Oh, Yums. Yums. That's uh, Matt on the wall. And Innocent will pick up that kill as of now. Innocent is scaling bottom lane. Clean up by Yudu Red Giants. Effortless setup, man. Yudu Red Giants. They just know. You know what? We got the last turtle. Oh, again. Uh, here we go again. This is just highlights after highlights. Yums. The actual carry from the side of Yudu Red Giants already. 3 0 2 to his name. Concussive Blast does a lot of damage. There are. Just confident, man. Mid game power spike is real. And take a look at this position right now. It was a rebellion esports taking the two turtles, but man, mid game 5,000 gold lead. First Lord is up. Rebellion esports, mm -hmm. they have less space to work around with. Yep, the Goliath trumps once again. Rebellion esports right here. Look, looking at for scraps, any form of gold, any form of map space, but they've got denied by the rotations of Yudu Red Giants. Yooms was bottom lane, picked up a kill, goes back to the mid lane, helps. Oh, uh, secure, secure for himself. But now the Lord Dance ensues. Rebellion Esports, do they want to take this fight or not? Let's see. Aether is hovering around without purple above, mind you. And Rebellion Esports, they are trying to find oh. an angle. Oh, Fumes charging. Charging up. It's going to be cars. The damage right here. Innocent, there's no way for him to run. Innocent will be able to secure the kill as well. On the TC, knocking members from the side. You do red giant sky high. But that's not enough damage coming out from Rebellion Esports. Aether trying to make a play all the way to the back line. We'll be able to find Stormy as well. Aether down low. Nama has to fly away. Now the members from the side of Yudu Red Giants hold on to him. Cramping up that kill as well. Sway low, letting down 
does damage. Innocent in a lot of trouble. Matt jumping all the way, but he runs the wrong way instead. Yums, the actual carry from you, the Red Giant, and they will be secured the Lord for themselves. Oh, it's a wipeout as well, and you do Red Giants, man. You can't count them out, of course. It's just a rebellion esports. <laughs> they were just punching air, and you do Red Giants. Oh, You're just all over the map. Innocent, great on just taking their time and cram in the mid bush saying hello to Aether just poink <laughs> yoink and he goes down <laughs> literally rebellion esports I, I this is so uncharacteristic especially when you know you're back against the wall you're dilly dallying right there you you the red giants just getting everything and rebellion esports doesn't want to handshake anything at all you almost jump to the bat line sway low down a little bit low penalty uh -oh. zone will be coming there at the same time cars just trying to wave their dominator descend by stormy pushing the members from the side rebellion esports such an annoying ultimate and aether will have to run away sickest does have two much damage not even link can battle him out man structures are off the board here for set of a rebellion esports only three basters left standing and now you do a giant they want to apply more pressure yep Yum's charging dominion seed as well but Yum's get dragged right underneath the turret's noses as well desperately trying to walk all the way immortality you already popped man looking for an angle like a pounds already committed dragging him all the way out but there's a shutdown over the side of rebellion esports that's Probably what they need in order to slow down the tempo of you, the Red Giants. Let's take a look at the um, items here, right? Yeah, Moskov, 8,000 gold. If you compare it to Roger Matt, who's sitting at almost 6k gold. Yeah, three items already. Four even, right? The Corrosion, the HLS Golden and stuff, and he has the Wind of Nature. So he has that extra security. If, let's say, Roger jumps in, Ling jumps in with the Tempest of Blade, he has survivability. Mm -hmm. And on the other side, you can see your Ling. Yeah, has claws. Yes, Berserker. Yes, Endless Battle just completed, so technically you know, he has damage. You know, Gunny, I'm looking at Innocent. He has pants, but doesn't have boots. <laughs> He's just stomping around in the mud, but hold on a second, Cram getting a lot of punishment right here, but Terizla, that innate defense kicking in, the damage reduction obnoxious for Rebellious Esports to deal with. And we have seen, right, a lot of lanes here opted for that Thunder Rebellion. Is this where uh, this thing, Aether needs perhaps Hello. slight, dis uh, like slight true damage with that Thunder Rebellion and also extra security, because he has equipments just full of damage. Maybe that is why oh. Aether is it's just so vulnerable right now. That hit and run down bot eight uh, sna uh, snacks. A turret for himself while uh, Yudu Red Giants is focusing on to that mid turret. Uh, looking at the XP graph, skew in the favor. Advantages over the side of Yudu Red Giants by Aether. Oh, down low a little bit. Tempest of Blades already committed. Members of Yudu Red Giants gives a little bit of chase. Dominator's descent also committed by the side of Yudu Red Giants, but Rebellion Esports walks away. Yeah, 12 minutes in. Rebellion Esports here still very, very much behind, right? Structure wise, gold wise, as well as almost a 10k gold cap. And Yudu Red Giants there, no. They know, you know what? Let's pick our battles. Let's not force a fight just yet because now the Lord is up. That is their main priority and yeah let's see rebellion esports is it really wise almost at a 10k deficit contesting this second lord i don't know there's only one chance for rebellion esports to kind of slow it down right is that is to steal that lord away cram being the punching bag right here it's also going to be the innocent joining the fight anytime soon right here sway low oh that's not where you want to be my boy and yum jumps to the front line just taking for the team Aether will be picking up cram goes into temples of blades but the members of you the red giants give chase and to one member go down for two that's a fair trade for you the red giants they will take it yeah, I mean, Rebellion Esports, sure, they took down Cram, but yeah, the space still heavily controlled by Yudu Red Giants. It's gonna be a no-brainer lord for the Yudu Red Giants, and Rebellion Esports, they need to pick their battles. They have to know in the back of their minds, they have that Moscow that can't just join in fights out of nowhere. So Rebellion Esports, they need to just take a step back and let's just full defense but, mode. But that's the thing, Gani. Rebellion Esports has been taking two steps back away from the fight. It's mostly Yudu Red Giants that pull the trigger and Rebellion Esports. I think the passive nerves got punished. Maybe they have to try something else if I were them. Let's just go gun blazing. You've got nothing to lose. Okay, let's see. Let's see, right? Let's see. I mean, this is now the Lord is up. The six <laughs> mad is up. I just Re love them fighting. <laughs> yeah, Rebellion Esports here. Mm -hmm. They have a chance to um, defend this one. They have oh. good high ground with Ruby, with the okay. Lily yeah, as well. 1v1 me, both these two teams. Oh. The players said it. It's going to be Sakai's that picks that up. 1v1 me, literally, uh, down in the bottom lane. And now it's going to be Rebellion Esports losing their mid. And now the floodgates have been cracked open. Where is Cars with I'm offended, it missed. 
Oh my goodness, that could be the biggest whiff that Rebellion Esports, but look at Yooms just jumping in. He is 417. He doesn't really care. And Immortality already prompt. And now not only just that, it's gonna be death inside their own base. You the Red Giants pick up game number one. Oh my goodness. In this best of three, you do Red Giants still showing they are dominance. the yeah, just dominance. They are the team to beat.